gonna go see Grandad for his 95th. It's so cold. What's some life advice you have for us? Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amity Gilmore and this is my suitcase and my life. All right. So what is it like to live a long, happy life all the way to the age of 95 and hopefully longer? Well, I'm only 23, so I don't have the answer to that, but we are about to go on a journey to find the answer from someone who does know the answer. My granddad is turning 95 and he is not your usual granddad. Now, Clarification, he's my great granddad, but here in Australia, we just are so lazy that we don't want to say the whole thing. So I call my normal grandpa, grandpa, and my great granddad, granddad. Now, before I get started and tell you a bit about this incredible man, I need a coffee. I like this new coffee over the caramel slice coffee. Now let's talk about my great granddad or as I like to call him granddad. My granddad was born in 1928. <sighs> That's insane. He has a whole bunch of stories he's told us. He has always been a ladies man. He has had many many love interests. However his main love interest and his only love interest that lasted so many years was my great grandma and her name was Enid. So they got married. I don't know what age they got married, but they got married. <laughs> and we like to say that from there, the family took the Bible verse, go forth and multiply quite seriously. My great granddad and great grandmother had seven kids, each of which had an average of four kids, each of which had an average of four kids. Let's just say my great granddad has around about a hundred grandchildren and great grandchildren, which is insane. Throughout his life, he has been insanely crazy. And when I mean insanely crazy, I mean he's been like the daredevil, the cool kid, the cool granddad. Like he's done it all. He once was a truckie. I remember a story being told that one day when he was driving the trucks, there was a taxi that was being annoying in front of him. So he, uh, yeah, gave the taxi a bit of a barge deliberately. Safe to say everyone was okay. It was just a little bit of a barge, but at 70 years old, I remember that at our house, we had a massive palm tree that needed to be chopped down. So who went up that tree and chopped it down? My great granddad at age 70 went up a tree and chopped it down as an arborist. He's not even an arborist, but I found that so cool that a couple months later at his 70th birthday, I wrote a speech about Chainsaw Man, AKA my granddad. This weekend is his 95th birthday. I am so excited to see him and I'm gonna ask him some advice, some life advice. I'm also excited to see my cousins who are also my first cousins once removed, but I'm actually closer to them than I am with my actual first cousins because my first cousins are a lot younger. I love my first cousins, they're adorable, but like on a friendship basis, I just get on better with my first cousins once removed. So if we're going all the way to Tumut, which is like near Wagga Wagga, we're gonna need a pack. So as most of you know, I have a feeding tube, so traveling and packing with my feeds can be very difficult. What am I supposed to pack? And even worse, what if I forget to pack something that I really need in order to function on my holiday? When I made the decision that I want to actually travel a lot, I decided to sit down and write a list of all the things I will need to pack every single time I travel. After finding that that list is actually a very helpful system System, I decided to make it available for you guys. The Tubi Travel Checklist is available on my Etsy store, Lemire Joy Boutique, link in the description, and you will be able to be prepared for all you need to pack on your next journey. The document itself is aesthetic and it also provides a customizable list as well for all of your personal belongings that aren't necessarily 
on the list. And get this, it's just 99 cents Australian dollars. That's even less in USD. While you're over there, don't forget to also buy a pack of Tubi pads for traveling or even everyday life. Visit Lamia Joy Boutique today, link in the description. I'm mostly packed, which is so good. I need to go into town. Wow, did I really just say into town? I'm still a country bunkin because I have another Etsy order I need to pack and a whole bunch of other stuff I need to buy for the weekend. First, let's film me, filming my Myself for an Instagram reel, pack a Etsy order. Order has been packed, and now it's time to go downtown and deliver it. Before I leave, I want to sew something that I've been wanting to try for a while. As a lot of you know, I curl my hair at night. I haven't done it last night, but the way I curl my hair is with a bandana and then I just like wrap it around. But I want to make my own that's not like the ball ones that are like really uncomfortable to sleep in, but one that's comfortable to sleep in. <laughs> has just entered Sydney. She now has like about an hour across the city so she's still like got a while to go to get to me and then oh, we're off. My family is here and we're driving to where are we going Sam? Somewhere in New South Wales. I'm gonna go see granddad for his 95th. my bed way too many beds bathroom in there kitchen and hi mom anyway i'm gonna be getting ready for bed so bye hey lovelies we're gonna go get some coffee it's very early in the morning i've got a weird accent for some reason i don't know why it's so cold it was like minus last night We finished the walk and I am dead. So I'm gonna sleep before the party. Good night. Lily! <laughs> Say hi. No. Hi. Say hello. Um, What's some piece of advice you have? Get a better camera. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Do you have any advice? For what? Just anything? Life? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Be happy. Is that it? Don't punch your wife like I do. He's joking, he's joking, he doesn't do yeah, that. He's definitely joking. Definitely joking. Put more money into the military. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Defund all civilian aspects of life and put it all into the military. Is that your advice? Uh, I'm a bit social, like, you know, paying people the doll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get rid of Settley. <laughs> yeah, get rid of Settley, put it all in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uncle Graham, do you have any advice for life? Yeah, don't get married. Hello, do you guys have any Hello. advice for life? Have advice, advice, for advice for life. Yeah, uh, be happy. Yeah. And what about you? Enjoy it. So you guys, <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. You guys are like the only ones that say anything serious. Pardon? You guys are the only ones that say anything serious. Are we? We're the most serious. <laughs> yeah. You guys are boring. Bye. Give me some advice. What's some life yeah. advice? Um, get a job. Some life advice. Hey, what? Life advice. Life advice? Life advice. <laughs> Get your hearing aids checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> Hello, Grandad. Hello. How old are you today? Um, well, they tell me I'm 
95. 95. <laughs> What's some life advice you have for us? Because you've lived 95 years of life. Uh, just live a good, clean life. Help people. Yeah. And, uh, no, just be yourself. Aww, that's yeah. so nice. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> I was going to say, if I have a place to have that, I don't know. What did you do? What did you do, Adam? Jacob's water bottle. Oh, was it really? Yes. Was it really? Yes. <laughs> Everybody's got a singer. Hello everyone, we are back in the motel and we're about to go out for dinner. This is the fit. This is one. Hi! Just wave, smile and wave. Morning lovelies, it is Sunday and so I'm off to church which is literally just across the road. In the meantime, I'm going to go get a hot chocolate. <sighs> Can you tell me the story about when you got your driver's license? A long time ago. What happened when you got your license? Wasn't your girlfriend at the time, wasn't her father a policeman or something? Hey? Wasn't the girlfriend at the time her father a policeman? Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Could you tell us that story? Margaret O'Brien was the girl. Margaret O'Brien was was um, the policeman's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he pulled me up once, I think. Sort of knew the story. Yeah. And he said, he said, you, you go out with my daughter, don't you? You've been <laughs> taking her out. And the way you've been driving up the main street, at least the hood a bit. Yeah. Apparently, you told me that the police yeah. realised you didn't have your licence and was like, oh, you've been driving my daughter around and you don't have a licence. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And yeah. what, what did he do? Yeah. I remember that. Did hey? he Did he try and help you get your licence then? Yeah, he told me to come straight round to the police station because it used to be police stations to get a license. Yeah. And he said, I'll, I'll give you one straight away because I know you drive. You've been <laughs> driving around for ages without a license. <laughs> well, he didn't know I didn't have a license, so. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I got away with it. <laughs> yeah, and, and he was happy for you to take his girl out? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hello. Oop, sun is out. So, we just went to church and that was good and now I want to show you. So, those mountains up there are not snowing today, but apparently sometimes some of these mountains do actually snow. We are actually in the snowy mountains, hence why it might snow. And it is freezing cold. It is midday and I believe it is top of nine degrees today which I don't know that's just cold for me I know there'll probably be a lot of people in here from England and everywhere else who think I'm crazy to think that that's freezing but I'm telling you it is freezing I'm a Port Macquarie girl I'm used to tropics not this it's funny because my family actually or originates from this area and they're all from the Riverina and the Snowy Mountains and I have never lived there in my life my grandparents moved to the coast when my mother was young in order to have a more <laughs> balanced coastal life I guess and um, We've been there ever since. But every now and then we come down the Riverina and see our family and it's nice, it's fun.
Hey guys, I am back home in my crib. Just woke up, it's now 12 o'clock because I went back to bed after we got here and I need to unpack my luggage. This is the end of this video. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You can also follow me over on my Instagram at Amity Gilmore. Love you guys, God bless. Mm.